Hello and welcome. My name is Elise, if you are new here. Today I've got another card to show you in my Simple Christmas Card series. I'm going to show you just a quick card that you can make using a stencil. Here is a look at the project and let's look at the supplies. I have the Bunting and Lights layered stencil set here from Trinity Stamps. So you can see one of the stencils has all of the light components and the other one has um, the string and what you can use to make a banner. I've also got the No Place Like Home stamp set. I'm going to be using some of this like really wide post-it tape to tape down my stencil and hold it into place and I'm blending on a water media mat. Of course, all of the supplies that I'm using are linked down below. So I'm going to start out by blending all of these um, strings and then the little um, boxes that the lights are attached to. I wish I remembered right now what those are called. Um, I am just only going to show you one row of this um, stencil work for out, throughout the entire card um, just to keep it quick. So it's really nice. This stencil has a little indent where you can line up so that the little boxes that house that the lights grew into. I wish I knew what that was called. Um, so that it is all um, perfectly lined up. And then even the little lights, um, the stencil has uh, guides that you can use. So I wanted to do rainbow um, ink blending on my lights. I really like the look of rainbow lights. White lights are great too, and you could definitely do this just um, using like a very soft yellow shade on white, and I think you would get that same effect, but I wanted to do rainbow. I am using a series of Distress Oxide inks, so Candied Apple, Spice Marmalade, Squeeze Lemonade, Mowed Lawn, and Broken China. And I'm using little bits of that post-it tape to kind of mask off the next light. This is very much sped up. Again, I didn't want us to be here for forever. I think that you all, um, you know, get what I'm going after here. So just going in with the squeeze lemonade and then I'll do the mode lawn and then the broken china. And on the subsequent two strings of lights, I tried to space out where the colors were so they didn't have blue lights stacked on top of each other the whole way down. And you can also see that the um, the lights, the string, are in different positions just because I wanted a varied look. I wanted this to obviously look like the outside of a house with all of the lights and then the sweet sentiment on the inside. There is a little layer that will do highlights so I grabbed a uh, white gel pen to do those. I'm going to go ahead and do some stamping. I've got that uh, No Place Like Home stamp set and I've got the roof line here and I am just going to use that Candied Apple Distress Oxide ink because it is already out and I wanted the sentiment um, to have a little bit of a punch of color. So just going to go ahead and stamp that down and then I can stamp down um, the greeting. I'm using Vintage Photo here, it's a Distress Oxide ink but any brown ink, or you could even just do black ink, honestly. So I go in with the brown ink and um, hit that twice just to get a really good impression with my Misty. And then I go around the edges with black soot just to add a little bit of interest. This is a three by four stamp set. So the greeting isn't huge, but it does um, take up a good amount of space on the card front. So I did want there to be some good interest. So I kind of use that little rock and roll technique with my ink pad on the edge of that stamp. I've got some nesting oval dies here and I'm just trying to figure out which oval will uh, create the best size opening. I want to leave as much of that um, stenciled lights look as is possible. So once I have a good size, 
I'm just going to put that in the middle of my um, craft card stock that I've uh, ink blended on and run that through my die cutting machine. I'm just using a little bit of washi tape to hold that in place. You may notice on when I pulled off the stencil, there was a little bit of black stray ink on um, my ink blended piece on that craft card stock. I just used a Tonbow Mono sand eraser to get that ink off. And you really can't tell that it was ever even there. So just running this through my die cut machine. And then you can see exactly how that's going to lay on top. I just go ahead and use some foam tape to pop that up. And then I can uh, glue this down onto an A2 sized card base. I think the foam tape really adds a lot because this is a really simple card. Now I thought of some ways if you wanted to step this up, you could um, use some like glossy accents over the lights, um, do a more complex background where the sentiment is. But uh, I am trying to make a bunch of Christmas cards this holiday season. And so I'm just going for things that are simple and don't take me very long to do. All in all, this card was um, just under a half an hour to make. So really not too bad. Lining that up on my A2 card front and that will complete the card for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and watching this project. All of the supplies are linked down below. On screen are more videos. Be sure to subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much.